Registration day has arrived at the 2008 EPSA Cape Epic presented by Adidas. From all over the world riders have come to compete in this 9 day, 950 km magical and untamed African mountain bike race. We have Olympian medalists, world champions, world cup winners, Tour de France riders and 7 past winners of the race, racing for the team title at Lawrenceford. But what makes the race unique is that amateurs and professionals alike compete here, all on the same roads and paths. Every rider that starts in Eisner has to be commended by taking up this challenge. This is, you know, it's about as hard as it gets, and I've been only doing multi-stage races in the last four or five years. My other two Team Rwanda teams are here, and I want to support them, and uh, of course I want to be here with Rishi. Yeah. And this is, I don't know if, if you, Cardo, want to include this, but this is Thomas's basically last year in racing professional. So it's a very special year to be here with him. Well, sure, the Absa Cape Epic is uh, one of the toughest races out there. Uh, I have the, the advantage that I can ride at his speed, which is <laughs> not as hard for me as I would be racing again against Barb Rantian and Christoph Sauser. It's a kind of a, a joy for us as well. We're happy that we probably the only team that have, has kept the same partner and done all the four epics. We're here for the fifth one uh, under APSA sponsorship and I think we shall go much further. We'll, we'll, we'll have our record on. We'll keep our record. A few months ago I had to find a partner and this year the APSA Cape Epic you can only ride in the same jersey. So that came up to my idea. Let's ride for charity. And I'm, my second home is Stellenbosch in near Cape Town. There's a big township and I thought to do something for that township. So uh, we actually made up our own charity organization. It's called Songo.info and there you can uh, buy kilometers basically. And that uh, money goes straight into the Kaimandi uh, yeah, to build a BMX track there. Um, this is my first event, so I'll have to take it as it comes. Uh, fortunately for myself, I'm riding with Christoph, who's got loads of experience and uh, will show me the way down to Cape Town. We're not here for uh, only watching elephants, but uh, you know, it's uh, almost 1,000 k's to go, so, so many things can happen. I'm prepared for anything, but I'm sure we've very have a good, good partner and uh, yeah, also a good, good team behind us and uh, hopefully everything uh, pays out. We've got 143 members um, in our Ama Bubesi Finisher Club. The Adidas Ama Bubesi Finisher Club is a club where people join that have finished the race three times. And actually we've already got um, 85, uh, 85 riders that are riding again this year for a fourth and for a fifth time. So um, you can see that the race is not only growing, but people that have done it once come back to do it over and over and over again, just because it's so special and it's different each time. And um, yeah, it, we've become a part of the their mountain bike life, I'd say. It's an achievement. It's a really difficult race, the most difficult race in South Africa on a mountain bike. And it's an endurance race, and it's an honor to be a member of Benizzi. It's quite an experience. You wrap shoulders with them every day. Uh, you see them at the start, uh, and you only see them at the finish again. But uh, it, it's, it's quite an experience for, for an amateur cyclist like me. So uh, yeah, I really enjoy it. The big day has arrived as months of preparation and sacrifices culminate with the start of the 2008 EPSA Cape Epic Prologue. But still the riders have time to relax before they start their mammoth mountain biking challenge, nine days of the EPSA Cape Epic.